Yeah. Is that fish right there? I think so. That'd be right there. When it comes to catching fish on the bottom, it's it's the old proverbial needle in a haystack looking type deal, which a lot of people don't like. They just assume be throwing out a target on the bank. And I have to admit, I'm kind of one of those guys, but I know at certain times and certain conditions, I've got to go look for that needle. I've got to find that needle out there somewhere that's holding those fish. And when you start looking at finding offshore fish, there's a few things you always want to keep in mind. You want to find some structure that's going to hold those fish. Uh, can you find them just roaming around out there? Yes, but generally those fish are relating to bait fish. So if you're finding something uh, that's going to hold fish where they're actually just sitting up there and they're not roaming, uh, you want to find structure. And by structure, it could be uh, different types of broken rock. It could be uh, small rock, big rock. It could be a, something that's sunk, you know, brush pile. Uh, it could be old stumps, old trees, a uh, grass line. I mean, there's always something out there that's going to hold those fish. Him? I don't know. Feels oh, like it. yeah. yeah, it's a freaking giant. <laughs> he looks like a pretty good one. Three pounder. Thought he was a lot bigger. He, I did too when he come up. He cracked it. Oh, he is. He's oh, yeah, four he pounder. <laughs> There's your old lead shaker fish you talk about all the time on the bottom. There's no other cover up on the bank for these fish to be on. Oh yeah, some good fish right there. That's a fun bike right there. I felt that rock, just dragging that right along there and funk. Kind of like what you was expecting, wasn't it?